the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are in the midst of the uh, Paschal season, and in fact, as you probably noticed in the hymns, this is actually the observation of mid-Pentecost, the, which is the middle <laughs> of the season. Uh, as we mentioned on Sunday, uh, the during this season, the church focuses upon themes that talk about how the power of the resurrection is revealed in our lives and how we can participate in that. The first couple of weeks of Pascha, Pascha itself, but then uh, the Sunday of St. Thomas and then the Sunday of uh, the Myrrh-bearing Women, we're focused upon the reality of the resurrection, its genuineness, the truth that Jesus Christ is indeed risen from the dead, the evidence that is there for that, the eyewitness testimony about the, the power of the resurrection. But then the focus shifts to where we are uh, understanding that the power of the resurrection is not just something future, not just something that's for the age to come, though it is for that. You know, we do believe that those who die in Christ will be raised uh, to new life in him, and that's really the whole glory of the kingdom of God, right? But we don't wait till then for the power of God to be at work in us. It's a regeneration, a healing that takes place all the time throughout our lives. And last Sunday we looked at the uh, healing of the paralytic by the pool of Bethesda. And that paralytic is like us in many respects. Now we might not be, although there are some like Joel among us, you know, who are uh, paralyzed like that. but. Uh, but most of us are paralyzed by the sins, the passions that are within us. And the good news is that if we open our heart and life to our, our heart to Christ, and we ask Him, and we are willing to take up our bed and walk, so to speak, if we're willing to act, He will bring healing to us. Now, also this coming Sunday uh, is the Sunday of the Samaritan woman. The uh, Sunday in which we hear about the encounter that Jesus had with Fotini, St. Fotini, the uh, woman at the well. And he tells her, of course, that if she knew who he was, she would ask him and he would give to her living water to drink. And you heard in the hymns tonight the reference to Jesus also standing in the midst of the temple during the middle of the great feast and saying, well, those of you that, that would have life, come to me and drink. Those of you that are thirsty, come to me and drink. And that drink, you see, is the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's what we're really calling for. Now on a hot day like today was, uh, we... we uh, probably recognize we need to have water every now and then. I actually have an app on my phone. My wife teases me about it because I don't listen to it as often as I should. But every hour on the hour it beeps and it comes up with this little message that says, time to drink some water. And if I would heed it, it would be really good because I would feel better. And I do feel better when I do. But a lot of times I say, oh, it's just the water thing again. You know, and, and then about a half hour later, I'm like, oh, I feel so weak. Why did, oh, I need water. <laughs> and uh, now, spiritually speaking, we don't have an app to remind us that we need to call out to God. But Christ promises that when we do call upon him, when we ask for the Holy Spirit, to be poured out upon us. He will pour out his spirit. He will anoint us. Our thirsty souls need him and need his presence. And what, what we are, you know, water is the stuff of life, right? There is no life without water. And in, in fact, it's, it, you know, I guess our bodies are something like 70 some percent water. I don't know, Don could probably tell us what really actually is, but but that water we need to replenish. Spiritually speaking, we need the Holy Spirit. And that is really the purpose of our life, to acquire the power and grace of the Holy Spirit within us. As St. Seraphim of Seraph said, you know, that, that uh, acquiring the Holy Spirit is really what our 
uh, walking Christ is supposed to be about. That means to know him, to experience him, to experience his love and his righteousness and his goodness. So as we enter into the second half of the Pentecostarian, the, the season of uh, Pascha to Pentecost, let us call out to Christ and ask him to pour out his spirit upon us, to renew us, so that, it, so that we're refreshed, so that we have the energy that we need to face the struggles and the trials that come, so that our life can be transformed and different, so that our life can be filled with the grace and joy of, of the Holy Spirit. Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you, Jesus said. How much will Christ give the Holy Spirit, he says in Luke, to those who ask? A father will give his child a bread, won't give him a stone. A father will give his child a fish and not a snake. How much more, Jesus says, will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask? So ask. Ask for the living water to be poured in, into your heart. Ask for the refreshing. Ask for the renewal. And that wellspring will, of the Holy Spirit will come up within you never to run dry. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Thanks for coming tonight. Really glad to see everyone. Uh, just a reminder that this Sunday we'll be having a Tipica service here because Pam and I are leaving this weekend for a wedding out in California. We'll be out there at Carla, uh, at Catherine Riley and Brandon's wedding. I forget Brandon's last name. I'll learn that pretty quickly. But Brandon and Catherine are getting married. And then uh, Pam and I are going to go visit some friends and colleagues in Santa Barbara and in LA and we'll be back in a week so uh, we won't be here this Sunday we will be back on June the 6th the first Sunday of uh, June for services as usual uh, so there will not be Vespers next week and there will be a typical service this Sunday if you want to go to church this Sunday please feel free to go to one of the other churches in town uh, and uh, worship the Lord there uh, but come here if you want and pray together uh, at least we want to keep the doors of the church open all the, all the time all right other announcement <clears throat> excuse me announcements okay well in the love of God the Father the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you Christ is risen. He is risen indeed.